Over the past two seasons, Dalton Schultz has vaulted into a fantasy, very fantasy relevant role for the Dallas Cowboys. Entering the 2020 season, it was Blake Jarwin who was garnering much offseason law and expectations as the Cowboys starting tight end. But in week one of 2020, Jarwin tore his ACL. And since then, Schultz has been the tight end 16 and tight end 5, respectively, over the past two seasons. Schultz is valued as the tight end 10 at KeepTradeCut.com and tight end 11 on DynastyTradeCalculator.com. However, just like the tight end 3 of 2019, Austin Hooper, Dalton Schultz hits the free agent market in 2022, coming off career high in targets, receptions, receiving yards, air yards, touchdowns. Both Hooper and Schultz had above average but unspectacular athletic profiles and took advantage of key absences. Remember, C.D. Lamb got injured during the season. Michael Gallup missed the majority of the season. Amari Cooper was out with COVID. There were key absences within this Dallas Cowboys offense. And if you remember... Back in 2019 with Austin Hooper, most new was a fancy relevant option for the Atlanta Falcons. He was out for a lot of games. Russell Gage was just garnering some attention. Julio Jones missed a couple games. Calvin Ridley missed a couple games. Hooper, yes, he missed a few games as well, but when he was out there, he was fantasy relevant in a very pass-heavy offense, just like the Dallas Cowboys' Dalton Schultz. Now, Schultz's lack of exceptional athleticism most likely means that we've seen his ceiling. And teams looking to enlist his services, they may not be the bastions of offensive potential like Dallas has been over the past few years. Let Austin Hooper serve as a cautionary tale. Hooper left a pass first, high volume offense in the Atlanta Falcons to sign a record tight end deal with the Cleveland Browns. What we would find out later to be a run first and and pretty ambiguous offense, pretty spread out. Hooper's two seasons since signing with the Browns, tight end 19 and tight end 26 respectively. A change of scenery is most likely for Schultz, given that the Cowboys are an estimated $21 million over the salary cap per SpotTrack.com. The market for Schultz still hasn't aligned with significant risk that Schultz won't return even a top 12 output for 2022 much less that output beyond 2022 there's no way he should be ranked inside the top 10 or 12 for dynasty tight ends there have been reports lately that the cowboys might franchise tag dalton schultz i'm not buying it This is the time where you need to sell high, especially given these rumors of Dalton Schultz. Sell Dalton Schultz. Now is the time before he loses his fantasy value.